Hey, hello everybody, and welcome back to the show! Alright, so I'll just say right away, uh, sorry for the late upload, um, <laughs> you're gonna see here in a second that I had a bit of a situation. Um, so I recorded a couple of videos, and, uh, they went all pear-shaped on me. Uh, you can see I've completed two races here, um, but <laughs> we have to do them again. <laughs> I just won't, I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. <laughs> Lost a whole bunch of content, but uh, quite alright. I apologize for the late upload. Um, I should have reviewed um, the videos that I had. I should have reviewed them yesterday or at some point la last night. Um, I just never really got around to it. And then upon reviewing this morning, I was like, well, <laughs> I'm going to have to re-record all of that. <laughs> And I was like, man, I have no content for today. So. Yes, sir. sir, sir. Alright, so we're in our Gzox uh, NSX. Uh, we do have a sister car. You can see two number 16s. So we got two Skylines, two Supras, and four NSXs. So these are the G... This is GTS class now, guys. We have finally made it into GTS class. I'm sorry, yellow hat Toyota Supra. I mean you no harm, sir. Hopefully this, uh... Get off me, dude! I... I literally can't stand that. Like, I really can't. Let go of my car, dude. He's like, well, I'll just keep on pushing because I'm stuck to my line. Move, man. Give me space. I hate how they don't give you space. And now the yellow hat's gonna do it to me. Unbelievable. Not getting another restart off of me there, fellas. I will beat you straight up. Each and every one of you right from the back. Hello, Arta NSX. You beautiful, beautiful girl here. Ooh, cold tires, baby. Woo. Okay. So this is GTS class. Um, a bit of a cuffuffle up here. Um, so GTS class is a lot harder to drive than GT is. Um, they're kind of like the same speed. What is going on? Calamity! <laughs> Man, we made it out in fourth. I'm alright. I'm alright with that. The friggin' uh, Zanavi Skyline got his ass kicked. Look at him. He's all beat up. There's the Exxon Superflow Toyota Supra. Well, the Exxon Ultra Flow, I guess. Uh... I went too, too shallow to try to take him. Go ahead if you want it, brother. What the hell, man? Get off me, dude. Ugh. So yeah, GTS class is uh, about the same speed as GT class. But the, um, the cars require a lot more, like, driving prowess in order to master. And they're a lot closer to each other in terms of, like, ability, like, overall ability. Like, the GT cars, they actually vary quite a bit. Um, but GTS is, you know, they gotta fit into very tight restrictions in real life as well. So in this game, I mean, GTS is about as tight as it gets. Well, other than P1. P1 is, like, bumper to bumper. GTS is, is like a nice battle. <gasps> oh, man, you use way too much brakes, sir. I literally almost missile launched up his booty meat like a damn missile. Oh. But yeah, guys, sorry about uh, the late upload there today. Oh. But, you yeah, know... I'm always a plan, I'm a plan Z kind of guy. 
like Plan Z, as in the very last letter, Z as in zebra. <laughs> Everybody always thinks, oh, Plan B? No, man. I'm way ahead of you, bro. I'm already working on Plan Z for ya. Him try to do that over-under maneuver on me it didn't exactly work. He tried, though. I'll give him that. Oh. Okay, now I need to find my driving line. Goodness. Now I need to find my comfortable driving line in this car. My god, what a rough beginning. Everybody driving like a... Like Mad Max or something, for Christ's sakes. To be successful in GT class, you kind of just have to be a little bit crazy. As I was saying, like the whole time we were driving in GT class. <coughs> but GTS class, you have to be like... You have to be like anti-crazy. You have to be like proper. Like really, really proper. These cars are also uh, GTS class compared to GT. Uh, these cars are also very brittle. Like if you notice in real life, uh, it doesn't take much to break a race car. And it's the same thing in Forza. It really doesn't take much to break a, a GTS uh, class car or a P1 as well. P1s are pretty much made of cardboard and glass. GTS class is slightly more uh, robust, but they still uh, break very easily if you crash or smash them into something. And now that we've found our driving line, we are once again sailing away. Now, if you remember in the last video, um, I do have a big history with uh, Acura NSX race cars, uh, especially the Takata. The um, he's like kind of a pearl white with uh, yellow and green on him. Whoop, very beautiful paint job color. <coughs> the uh, Takata has been one of my favorite uh, GTS class race cars or GT2 class race cars uh, for quite some time. I believe the first game with the Takata whoa, that I ever played was Gran Turismo 3 or 4. I can't remember if the Takata was in... I don't think the Takata was in uh, Gran Turismo 2. I know all the Supras and all the Skylines were in uh, number 2. I'm just trying to remember if they had the... Uh, I know they had the Ray Brig. They had the Arta. Was there was the was the Zexel? Can't remember if the Zexel NSX was in that game or not. This is the Gzox NSX. If anybody's wondering, well, I guess it would be a sister uh, Castrol Castrol Gzox. I've actually never driven this car before, so <laughs> pretty interesting. But like I said. I do have a pretty long history racing with NSXs. I really prefer them, to be honest with you. I like uh, how they handle. It's a mid-engine, rear-wheel drive car. So its, it's handling is a little bit funky sometimes. <laughs> but uh, once you get used to it, man, ooh, this car flies. One thing about the uh, race NSXs as well is their handling. Their handling is, like, uh, just incredible. You can really trust uh, the NSXs <coughs> to make some <laughs> pretty ridiculous corners, man. Like, oh, it is freezing in my house. Like, it is actually freezing in here. I left my air conditioner on when I went out for a couple hours today. It was not a good idea. Oh, God because all I did was just turn it on to maximum and then left. <laughs> and it's only like maybe 20 degrees outside, which is like normal room temperature anyways. <sighs> it's like literally 15 degrees in my house right now. <laughs> A little bit chilly. <sighs> I 
have to like do like some air boxing or something after this race is over and warm myself up. I'm actually getting like a little bit of shivers, man. <laughs> Oh, he's not that far behind. It looks like they're far behind on the map, but if you consider how fast these cars actually go, like, they're not that far behind. 15 seconds is not a lot. Like, oh yeah, 15 seconds in real life, I mean. <laughs> you're friggin', <laughs> you're 15 miles off. <laughs> but, in Forza, that 15 seconds, 10 points on that pylon, baby. 15 seconds can be made up pretty quickly in uh, Forza. Uh, uh, a little bit too tight. Ooh, that bump. Oh, that bump almost threw us in the grass. That would not have been good at all. Especially on the uh, third last lap. Holy. Check my tires. Tires are alright. The body on this car is a little bit beat up because uh, oh, madness that happened in the first and second lap there. That was chaos, man. The first, uh, was it the first turn, or... I can't remember what turn that, uh, all that chaos happened. Pretty crazy, though. Oh, it was at the end of the back stretch. That's right. That was friggin' madness. It was, yeah, it was the chicane at the end of the back stretch. This car is so balanced, you guys. I wish you guys could see how simple it is to to drive this car. Like, see how much I'm... Uh, to see, like, how much reaction I have to use and stuff to actually drive this car. It's like zero. <laughs> Compared to some of the other cars that we've driven, man, this is like kindergarten. Just this car itself is is pretty miraculous. Oh, well, I guess any of the racing NSXs, you know, they're all the exact same. They just have different paint. Technically, they're all the same. Unless you're looking at a different year. Like, if this one's a 2003 or 4, and the other ones are 2001, 2002, then obviously this one is going to be... Uh, the different year cars can actually change quite a bit. Because as rulings change and restrictions change, um, like in real life and stuff like that, they incorporate that into the game. Oh, that was bad. That little bump. <laughs> yeah, they incorporate that into the game. So the next year's model could actually be slower or faster, compare uh, depending on what uh, depending on what restrictions were added or. Removed, I guess you could say. Listen to that chainsaw noise. There's no point in getting rid of it. We're at the end of the race anyway, so. Okie dokie. Next. <laughs> oh no, this race was hard. Okay, so I did I did do this race all I did that Road Atlanta race already previously. I did this friggin' Sunset Peninsula race already as well. And then I lost my content. <laughs> it was permanently deleted. So, anyways, here we are again. Uh, the main competitor I remember was the Exxon Superflow, uh, or sorry, the Exxon Ultra Flow Toyota Supra. Uh, he's very fast. Essentially, all I have to do in this race is just kind of stay away from them. I will have to have like a one on one battle towards the end of the race. But here we go. That is our main competitor right there in front of us. White and the uh, white and uh, blue. He just moved over to the right there. The two Supras are the big competitors here. Yellow hat, what the hell are you doing, my friend? My friend. I want you to be my friend. I don't need you to be my enemy, sir. I wish nothing but good things for the best of us. All right. Now let's team up. Do a little. Talladega Knights, shake and bake. Oh, don't do anything crazy, please. Give me that draft, Calsonic Skyline. Let me see that booty, baby. We're gonna get a downshift into fifth floor. 
Okay. Oh, my heart. Okay, so we've kind of split the field in half. The Exxon Superflow is actually out of the race, which is good because he's like pretty fastest one. I need to catch the draft of the yellow hat here. Come on, baby. It's gonna be difficult. It was a shame that I uh, smashed into the wall real bad there. Oh, it looks like they're battling. I've gotta really keep my eyes at attention here. See, if the three of these fellas, like, pull away, then I basically have to restart, because they're just going to shake and bake each other all the way to the finish line. Yeah, they're kind of getting away. Let's go ahead and double up. Have a nice launch out. There we go. Uh oh. This is what I'm hoping for. Oh god. Here comes the Exxon Superflow on my left. I hear you, bro. I hear you, please. Please, sir. Well, I heard that. Oh, the Takata and the Exxon Superflow are battling. Oh, I didn't mean to hit him. That's all right. Let's push each other. I'm helping you, sir. I'm helping you. NSX Plus Toyota Superpower. Let's go. We got this punk. Woo, yellow hat, baby. Me and you. Here, grab my draft. Grab my draft. I kind of want to bring one of them with me. Whoa, I didn't mean to do that. Man, the nose on this car really sticks out. This car is like friggin' Pinocchio. I am nervous, oh so nervous. I know someone is wanting to kill me. Please do not, Galsonic Skyline. Oh, you make me nervous. What the hell are you doing, sir? Oh, restart. <laughs> we need to get a good. So like a good, the, the reason why we had to do all that madness there is because the stupid Exxon killed everybody at the beginning. Look at him. He is absolutely out of his goddamn mind. I know you're there, yellow hat. Why? I hate how they do that shit, man. And here we are, back in the same damn situation. <laughs> so annoying. Now I basically have to wait for these idiots up there to, like, have a little bit of chaos so that I can get on a draft. Because right now they're just drafting the hell out of each other. They're just using each other to go, go, go. Come on, Jesus. We got this. Need that draft. Here comes the Takata. The Takata is definitely the best out of all the NSX race cars. It's extremely fast. That's when they had actual uh, good rulings and uh, good restrictions in GT Class racing. All the cars were very fast, very balanced. Let's go ahead and get sixth gear, shift right back down into fifth, get in front. Now I am weary of these two idiots up here. Because that is the Zanavi Nismo and the Ultra Flow. The Zanavi's making a move on the Supra. I should let the Skyline make a move on me so that me and him can shake and bake each other. Please don't kill me, man. Just pass me. That's it. It's as easy as that. Or don't even pass me. Stay there, sir. I'm gonna get 
straight to that inside line, baby. They learn hard on these Emmer Effers. Come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. I need to catch his draft. Come on. Oh, we should be able to catch a bit of a draft. Gotta stay right on him. I can literally feel his draft in my steering wheel. Like, no lie, I can actually feel his draft pulling me side to side. Oh, it's going to be very hard to catch that uh, Supra. have to stay nice, stay really nice. Come on, baby. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Let's see if we can, uh, oh, this might be risky, you guys. This might actually be the end of this video here. <laughs> We're going to see if we can, uh, use the parallel, oh, God, to make a shorter line. Come on. Come on, baby, hold it together. Ah. Come on. Sucks because he's like just barely, barely faster than us. You know how annoying this is, man? The fact that he just stays the exact same distance away. Come on, baby. I don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, 1.217. Last time he was 1.21. 1. 1. 1. 1.264. <laughs> Well, at least we didn't crash when I was trying to use the little inside lip. That's why I was saying that this might be the end of the video because I, I, I was thinking that I may, it may cause me to crash, but that was my basic, my basically my last ditch effort. Yeah, we got second here. That's all right. This is a championship. I will take second place.
and I will come back to destroy every other race in this entire damn championship. <laughs> Maximum level, let's get our sa -sa -sa save game. Oh, if it wasn't a championship, yeah, we would have had to restart, obviously, because you can't win first place, or you can't win the race in, in, in second. <laughs> okay, so let's, uh, let's just quickly head back on, whoopsie daisy, copyrighted music, da -da. and then, <laughs> Oh boy. So here's our lovely Jesus. Here's where we're at right now, by the way, guys. 83.8%. My goodness, only 16.2% left in this game, you guys. Oh. So there's the Jesus. There's our sweet honey. And uh, anyways, I want to thank you guys for coming out and watching this episode of Forza with me here today. If you guys could do me the greatest and onerously onerous of favors and uh, leave a like on the video as well. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done that yet. Man, I would supremely appreciate that. And I, I seriously, I plan to play hundreds of games in the future. I, I need to stress that in a lot of my videos that I plan to play hundreds of games. I'm not going anywhere, so... I mean, if you like me, if you think I'm funny, if you think I'm stupid, whatever, <laughs> subscribe to the channel, because I'm not going anywhere, man. Uh, you know, I'm going to be playing tons more games, not just Forza. Forza is just a long-ass game. Um, <laughs> so, anyways, man, other than that, I wish you guys the best, and I hope you guys have a freaking awesome rest of your day. I will see you guys in the very next episode of Forza. Until then, bye-bye.